Hey, what's up everyone? This is Johnny with JCS Performance. So we recently had uh, posted a video on uh, Zach's 124 motor build and somebody had made a comment about how come we didn't do a Timken conversion on that motor. So it's been kind of uh, eating me up and I've been thinking about it. So I want to make a video kind of um, letting you know how I feel and my thoughts about it. And I got a couple of motors I want to show you. Uh, and the reason why and why not I believe we should be using the Timken bearing conversions. All right, so we want to start off with uh, the Samantha 143 motor. So this is a special appli application case from SNS, and this one came with the Timken conversion already. So um, the reason why I like to use these is because on a motor that you're going to be putting a lot of pressure on, something that has a lot of co uh, compression ratio, and if the motor is going to have 75% of its time over 5,000 RPMs, I'm a strong believer it should have a Timken conversion. If it's 75% of the time is going to be 5,000 or less, I think the roller is going to be fine for the motor, even if it's over 150, 150 horsepower. So on this one here, I like using these because you get the opportunity to dial in your crank case or your crank in play that goes back and forth. So over here we have a um, Screaming Eagle 110 motor and then you can see where this moves back and forth, right? Okay, so yes, it does not stay like that. What gets, gives, gets away from the in play is once you install this part here, your washer and your compensator, it takes all the in play out, but you really don't have much way of dialing it in and getting as close as possible. So you stay within specs, but on a motor like this, you'll be able to dial it in with better uh, in play. You know, I think this one's in between one and four thousandths. I don't remember exactly how much it is, but um, so I believe that, for instance, here is a SNS case. Um, we're going to do a 131 cubic inch motor on this and this one has the bearing the Timken conversion or the Timken bearings in here. This is a 145 cubic inch motor again SNS case it has the uh, Timken bearings in it. So this is going to be a 124 cubic inch and this one has this one has had the conversion uh, installed already. So that motor originally was like this, which was like the roller bearing style, and then we converted to this. The reason why is this is gonna be a really high revving motor, and I think it needs it. So in my opinion, in my thoughts, is that if you're not gonna be running high RPMs and drag racing, I strongly believe that these bearings will hold, held up to 150, 160 horsepower. I don't see no problem with it. You start getting to higher horsepower and putting a lot of stress on these motors, I strongly believe that a Timken bearing will work. Now again, uh, these are my thoughts, my opinions. This is how I feel. I'm not uh, saying it's better. I'm not saying it's worse. I'm just saying that this is what I th believe. Um, I hope this helps you guys out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to give us a call, message us, and... Um, we really appreciate you guys watching our videos, and we'll have a lot more cool videos coming soon, guys. Thanks for watching.